Last night, however, her colleagues in the other place gave barely one thought and certainly two fingers to your Lordship's house. <laughs> the Minister there made just one argument, um, and a shorter version of, of, of the noble ladies which I'll come to. He, he gave just one argument against my amendment that courts should not be able to declare laws incompatible with, with human rights. So the government um, position in the other place moved uh, from this bill complies with our obligations and so do we to and what's more the courts have no place at all no place at all my lords in scrutinizing our compliance before that committee the home secretary um, gave evidence about the pushback policy and that committee has people far more august than me including my noble friend lord blunkett who, who quizzed the Home Secretary about the legal basis for pushing back boats in the channel, the controversy had raged and so on. She assured us there was a legal basis and the, and the purpose of the policy was um, to deter these refugees and the evil trade and all the rest of it. The purpose was to deter uh, asylum seekers. Um, we were assured there was a legal basis, as was Parliament and, uh, and the public. And then when that, when that policy was judicially reviewed, the Home Office sought public interest immunity over provisions of the policy document that revealed that the Home Office knew that it would be contrary to the Refugee Convention to ever repel a boat with a person who said, but I need asylum, I'm a refugee. And it was only because the courts, yeah. it was only because yeah. the courts were able to say no to the public interest immunity and therefore, and therefore, you know, the government was exposed, the Home Secretary was exposed, that that policy is now over. That is how important the rule of law is. But I have to say that when Lord Brown of Eton under Hayward says he will go to the stake for the rule of law, I'll go with him. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. I, I've, put, I've, I've moved this um, motion and I would like um, your Lordship's House to agree it. Yeah. The question is that motion A won't be agreed to. As many as are of that opinion will say content. content. The contrary, not content. Not content. I think the contents have it. Okay. The question will be decided by a division. I instruct the clerk to start an electronic division. My Lords, the voting period is now open. Members are invited to record their votes using the electronic voting system. Members will have 10 minutes to record their votes, and I will make an announcement when the electronic voting period has ended. Clear the bar. My Lords, uh, the electric voting, electronic voting period has now finished, and I will announce the result as soon as possible. There have voted contents 157, not contents 212, so the not contents have it.